Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're going to be going over distortion and lo-fi, and uh, we've been getting into like the technical aspects of uh, Synth Master, but let's get into the fun stuff. So we will reset the preset here. We have a basic saw. Let me turn that up a tiny bit. All right, so we have a basic saw, and uh, I want to kind of shape it with a filter here. So you notice that we're getting rid of the harshness and shaving off some of the uh, harmonics. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on distortion. We turn it on right here. It's after the filter. So it's post-filter distortion. Think of it that way. And uh, here it is. So let's uh, have a mix at 100%. You have mix at 0 and mix at 100. Uh, right in the middle is 50, naturally. So that would be kind of, you have the original signal coming through, but you know, you're still getting that kind of drive, depending on what you're into after. So we will have 100%. And uh, the drive is the amount that you're driving into the amplifier circuit, quote-unquote. And we'll add some bias to add a bit more harmonics. And then we're just going to drive it a bit more. And we'll bring it down an octave. Cool. So there's uh, a few ways you can adjust the character. You can adjust the character with the distortion curve. You can add some harmonics. I think that's a little bit too intense. We will move that back up. Let me turn that up just a tiny bit. All right, so we have a whole lot of harmonics there. Very nice. And there's ways we can drive it even further. We can drive it uh, with a simple kind of EQ, EQ shelf. So it's a pre and post EQ. So what we can do is uh, drive just the low end into it. So we get a really interesting uh, kind of timbre that way. Or a high shelf, we can just drag that of the same thing right uh, we can go post so if we want to like kind of clean it up we can have a post distortion EQ kind of accentuating those sinusoidals right kind of kind of analog and fun we're gonna do a bit of both of that a bit of both to that we can also accentuate the harmonics that way. All right, so we have, oops, we have like, you know, the bat signal here, <laughs> or whatever. Very interesting shape, very interesting timbre, and that's just with the uh, distortion. So there's another way to add harmonics, and I'll show you. freeze that so now what we can do is we can go to lo-fi so lo-fi is a sample rate reduction uh, we have to go to our layer and turn it on we can also turn it on uh, up here and it's a bit in sample rate reduction so what that means is the number of bits is like the number of uh, the resolution of amplitude and sample rate is the resolution of like uh, the amount of information you can store in an amount of time so time by amplitude. So as we decrease the amplitude, right, we get bits, right? It, there's like a stair step, and that happens when you have a low bit rate, right? And this, in turn, adds harmonics, which are really cool. Uh, a lot of older gear did this, you know? So you can have, like, insane high-quality anti-alias uh, oversampled, da 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 da, but then we add sample rate and bit reduction to things, which is kind of funny, right? So there's that, and that is over time, right? And you get some really intense, kind of square wave-ish. So you go from this nice distorted, kind of clean. You know, some sinusoidal and like uh, kind of rich harmonics do even like devastated 
decimated fun square waves of doom here. Always fun to do. All right, so there's that. And then there's sample rate reduction. All right, so that's uh, a sample rate reduction over time. Right, so it's a different kind of uh, stair step. It's just stair step over time, not in amplitude. See, the other one was in amplitude. I'll show you. Right? This is over time, and this is in amplitude, right? So it's just different resolutions. Um, and used together, you can create some really kind of interesting things. Um, Right. Another thing we can do, oops, is have a mixture of both. So you know we work at uh, uh, like 16-bit. Uh, this is allegedly 24 bits, which is good. I think it's 24 bits. Pretty sure it's 24 bits anyway. We can reduce that if you see up here. We can reduce that to like a classic 12 12 bits. Or 8-bit, which is like cassette, maybe. Right, so that. But once you get down to 4 bits, you get pretty crazy. And it's a mixture of both of these, so this would be negative. No, you would want... So right now we're working 44, so like 20, 16K would be an MPC, if I remember correctly, and all that. So once you're at that point, say you want that much, what those old school kind of machines did, old school synths, the digital ones, uh, they would kind of have a roll off. Right, they wouldn't, they, would, they wouldn't uh, translate the higher harmonic or the higher frequencies. Can have like another filter here for the uh, lo-fi. You can add right some really cool stuff, and it's all about shaping. And you want to shape the sound. We got that out of just a simple sawtooth, a simple sawtooth, a filter, uh, distortion, a bit of shaping, and uh, yeah. And then from there, we can do the EQ and stuff like that. But we're gonna get into that later. Uh, so yeah, that is uh, Distortion and Lo-Fi in Synthmaster. Hope you learned stuff, and we will be back.